So after hundreds and hundreds of hours producing AI content and designing AI workflows, I've stumbled upon something really fucking cool. And I really hope that this helps you produce content with AI with much better outputs, much better consistency, and overall just an easier experience for you to get through. So complete caveat, this might be entirely made up. But after all of the work that I've done and the results that I've got, this is by far the most consistent way I've seen success. So I'll explain what it is. So prompt pairing in my mind is just using parallel language structures, which is just a really fancy way of saying I like to mirror my input language with my output language. So when you give AI prompts for content, it's usually quite vague. Then that's because the understanding of how we give instructions to AI is quite limited. So for example, the typical content prompt you might give is behave in this way. So you're a real estate agent and you've got 15 years of experience and you're talking about, I don't know, how to appraise your house, which sounds specific, but it's not because that leaves the AI to determine what you feel is the best output, right? So you need to be super clear about what you want from it. And there are three things I do. I use consistent framing. I have very clear parameters and I remove or reduce any ambiguity. What that means is when the first output happens, I'm at a much higher chance of getting the output that I want versus having to re-edit it a thousand times over. So this is what I mean when I, I kind of meet, uh, go through these three steps here. So for example, I might set the voice tone and style. So it could be right like a straight shooting friend over coffee explaining when to visit Mexico, keep it direct, cut the fluff and make it informative. So I'm I'm kind of positioning how this style needs to come out. So it's not up for interpretation. It's not you are a smart friend explaining Mexico to your other friend. It's how you're explaining it, explaining it. What you know, what delivery method are you giving it in? Then I might set a content format ratio. And this is really useful because when you come to edit content, if it's not how you want it to look in terms of formatting, in terms of structure, if you can set things in percentages, it's much easier to change those percentages than to completely reevaluate the outcome. So I might say, you're a straight talking friend over coffee, explaining Mexico tips, blah, 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 blah. You're doing it with 40% facts, 30% personal insight and 30% tips. So I've got a nice ratio there. And then I'll set specific writing mechanics. So this is just a delivery or the uh, structure of the content that I want. So it could be use constructions, active voice, uh, dynamic uh, transitions. It could be vary sentence structure, whatever it is, I want to define that up front. And to give you an example, my content prompts when I use Cuppa are about, I use the entire lot. I use a thousand characters 100% of the time. And if it makes sense, I'm happy to show you, you know, one of my initial prompts. I, I couldn't do it in here because it's too, it's too long. So what I've got here is a really nice framework. I've got parameters that are clear. I've got consistent framing and I've removed ambiguity. So I'm, I'm pushing AI toward my kind of ideal output. And then what I do in my kind of editing sequence is I match those outputs, but because I've set them in such a way, I can refine them, but in the same way. That might make absolutely no sense. So what I mean is, if I want to stay within the remit of um, write like a straight shooting friend, I'm going to use that exact same concept when I come to edit. I can't say write like a, a straight shooting friend, and then when I come to edit it, I'm like, actually, I prefer if you were a fluffy, cuddly bestie. That was completely conversational because what you're doing is giving an instruction up front and then completely changing your mind. So that's why setting your initial prompt up front makes so, so much sense to spend the time producing it. So when you do edit the content, it's a breeze. So I'm keeping those concepts and I will use the exact same language. So I will say, write like a straight shooting friend. But what I will do, and this is my second point, is I will expand on those requirements. So in my initial prompt, 
what you know the shape that the straight shooting friend might now become short punchy dynamic sentences with no fluff with a direct approach of delivery so the, it is the exact same reflection of what i tried to do in the first version but it is an expanded opportunity to be slightly more analytical so but i'm not changing what i want i'm just expanding on what i want and then what i'll do this is a really nice little trick is i will benchmark against my original prompts goals so does this article achieve what i set out to achieve and if not what are the differences so you might be thinking well that's cool ryan but how the hell do i pair those things up glad you asked so my editing variables so this is how i remo remove hallucinations this is how i remove issues with quality this is how i remove context being broken is i will feed all of this information into a window and i will use that those documents as a way to refine my editing process so i will give ai my original prompt because that is my that is my threshold right that is my quality input filter then i will also give it my first output so this is the first draft of content then I will give it my desired output. So some examples of what I want the content to sound like based on the parameters that I've set. Then I will give it the topic of what that content should be about. Because what that does is it allows AI to understand what your ideal scenario is. And if you do it in this way, it removes the need for AI to break structure, try to establish its own context, um, it doesn't try to refine certain quality parameters because you have them clearly set. What tends to happen when people produce content is they have one prompt separately to produce the content. They'll get the, the output and then they'll start a completely new window without any context. So whichever, whichever AI model you have has absolutely no understanding of what you originally wanted. So it's going to do its best to understand how you want to edit the content, but there's no way to match that up. So... When you come through that entire process, and bearing in mind here, this is something that has taken me, you know, literally hundreds of hours to figure out. Of course, this framework is just a base level view of it. But this is what I mean by prompt pairing. So my initial output is paired with my output filters. Filters being expanding on concepts, limited contradictions, um, criteria benchmarking, all of that good stuff, it mirrors the language. So I don't all of a sudden change my writing mechanics. I don't all of a sudden change my target audience. I don't change how, how the content is written, but I expand on those variables. And to make sure that all of it makes sense, I will give it my entire process. So my original prompt, my first output, my desired output and the topic so that when it makes the first round of revisions, it can say, um, you know, based on the desired output, here's how I think you want to actually edit the content. And then once you've understood how it thinks and how it transforms your initial draft to your second draft, you can then start to tweak your parameters. It's such a brilliant workflow. I can now get a piece of content from brief to 90% perfect in 15 to 20 minutes, which you would never be able to do with a human. So let's just be super clear on that. If I was to pair up this workflow with a $1,000 per hour content writer, I can almost guarantee that my output would be equivalent to theirs and I would do it in a fraction of the time. So I really hope that, that helped. Um, I'll leave the thread open for people to ask questions. I realize it's 10 minutes. This is my first real time walking through stuff like this. So give me some feedback. Um, much appreciated. And... Yeah, good luck with it all. And I'm going to produce more and more of this stuff. The more I figure out how to give you exactly what you guys need, the way that I'll do it. And uh, yeah, happy, happy AI hunting.